I'm challenged by our coach to do 30 lives, 30 days, and today is day 13. And before everyone gets up in the house, I was waiting for them. They're still asleep. I figured let's get this live. And so today I, I want to talk about has doing it myself become become dangerous. And what do I mean by that? By now we see every day that someone is pulling themselves up by their bootstraps, heavy indulgence and in just self-help books and this whole idea or this whole uh, mindset that I don't need any help has become very, very, I think it's become dangerous. So I'm going to start off by saying I am a believer in Jesus Christ. And I like to say that versus saying I believe in a higher power. I believe in Jesus Christ, not the universe. I believe he created the universe, not the big man upstairs and not not something up there or some energy. I want to make that clear because usually when we talk about God, we don't usually know if the other person on the other line or the person that we're talking to, we have no idea uh, what they mean or who they mean. So with that, I think the whole movement or the whole, I wouldn't say it's just a movement. I think it's, I think it's happened for years. I think how it looks just changes. Uh, the whole movement of now it looks like astrology readings have become very, very attractive. And now it's happening with younger and younger people where now back in the day or back in my day, if someone was doing like astrology reading or something like that, they were like older, like maybe 50, 60. Now it's like people are in their in their 20s and they're making businesses out of this and they're uh, creating programs out of it. And I'm here to say that, A, that's not of God, it's not of Jesus Christ, and B, indulging in that, I think, will become very, very dangerous. I think it's an open door uh, for the enemy. And I think that all stems from, or it's coming from the, I did it myself, or I can do it myself, that type of mindset. Now, yes, of course, you, you want to develop, you want to learn, you want to grow, but as soon as we start taking Jesus Christ or God out of the equation, I believe that's when things get very, very dangerous. I believe that strongly because if we look in the Bible, every time they took God out of the the path, they took God out of their lives, it usually turned ugly for them. So something that I've seen lately a lot more, the astrology readings, something else I've seen more is just almost like making up making up their own plan to follow and like naming that like the way so right now right self self help or self care has almost turned into some type of idolatry right in the name of self care i don't want to forgive people in the name of self care i need to isolate forever in the name of self care i have to do all these other things now, this may sound like I'm uh, beating on people. I'm totally not. Just showing you what I'm seeing lately and how I think it could become very, very dangerous. So for me and for those who are listening, I would admonish, I would encourage you to think it's God's design for us to depend on him and for us to trust in him. It's Satan's design for us to get as far as way, as far as possible away from that. Like he does not want us trusting in God. He does not want us building a relationship with God. He does not want us seeking God. And the reason for that is if he gets you into that place and you become the person that has it all, does it all, uh, you walk in a place of idolatry and you walk in a place where you put yourself in the place of where God should be at. And we're going to just be honest, all of us at some time in our lives have decided to do more trusting in ourselves than God. If anybody tells you that has never happened to them, they're probably lying or they probably don't want to just come out and admit that, hey, we've all been there before. We all do that at times. The, the, the biggest deception starts in Genesis 1 when God tells Adam and Eve, hey, you guys can eat from any tree in this garden, like any tree in this garden. Probably, I don't know how many trees it could have been, but even if it was just 10, any tree in this garden, just don't eat from the tree of good, good and evil. 
And then Satan's number one tactic was to get us or to get Eve to focus on what she didn't have access to versus what she did have access to. So she goes and goes, you know, this this tree does look good. He tells them, you know, God didn't say you would die. You know, you'll be just like him if you go ahead and eat from this tree. This whole mindset of us needing to be like God has become dangerous. We're not God. You're not God. You will never be God. And I know there's many religions that stand on that. It's not true. You're not God. You are not going to be God. And the scripture that we misconstrued or people misconstrued where it talks about ye are little gods. He's talking about being a ruler over things that you have. You're not God almighty. You're not omniscient. omniscient. You're not omnipresent. So with that, Eve goes and eats the tree, eats from the tree, and she feeds it to Adam. And then now they die a spiritual death and then God has to clean up the mess. So it's always Satan's goal to make us focus on what we don't have and to make us start to look inward for the answers. The Bible talks about the heart being desperately wicked. So looking inward probably won't give you the answers. Looking to God, looking to Jesus gives us more answers, gives us the answers, gives us the the way to do it. So even though we're seeing these things become popular and it's become more um, accepted, it doesn't mean it's the way that we should be going. Right. Nowadays, you cannot go on social media of any sort and not see someone posting that they're a mean person because they're a Sagittarius or they're a stubborn person because they're a Taurus. Right. We're, we're leaning towards all of these things that the enemy, I believe, is setting up for us to trust into so that we don't trust into God. And he doesn't care what it is. It can be astrology. It can be yourself. It can be putting another person as a place of idolatry. It can be numerous amounts of things, numerous amounts of tactics. He doesn't care as long as we don't trust in God, as long as we don't depend on God. And I want to encourage us, depending on God can be challenging because we're in a culture where the culture does not depend on God. The culture depends on what you can get and what you can do by yourself. But I want to encourage you, I want to admonish you, and just shed some light. If you are believing in God, if you are trusting in God for something, and you are deciding to keep putting your faith in God, then keep going that route. Remember, the, the goal of the enemy, and then John talks about his goal is to kill, to steal, and to destroy. If that's his main goal, to kill, steal, and destroy, he doesn't care how he does it. He doesn't care who he does it to. His That's his goal. And he's usually about meeting his goals. But our goals are to trust in God, to depend on God, and to consistently surrender and yield to God. That's the challenging part. Because when we're surrendering to God, when we're trusting in God, when we're depending on God, it doesn't mean we're going to have all the answers immediately. And that's what trust is. And that's the opposite of what we're seeing happening in our world. We want all the answers. We want to be in control. We want to brag and say that we did it. We don't want to acknowledge that, hey, it's God that's giving me breath. It's God that wants me to go a different path. It's God that wants me to do it a different way, even even for the church. I talked to my wife last night and I said, I believe COVID was one of the introductions for us doing things differently, us doing church differently, us not flocking just to the building but us flocking to each other to build more disciples and to be able to further the gospel, to be able to do life with people. But because for some reason changing is hard, we just fall right back into what it was right before COVID. I think it's an era where God wants to use his sons and daughters who are depending and trusting in him and yielding to him because there's a generation that will die without him if they don't understand God, if they don't hear God, if they're not discipled, if they're not in a place where they can change by God and his presence and his might. Because if we don't do that, we're going to see our world just continue to get worse and worse. We're seeing it with celebrities, with all of these things coming out. And these are people who we looked up to, people who we believed in. And now we're seeing like the 
the demonic activity that was happening all along. So for anybody listening, anybody who will listen when I post this, I just want to encourage you to keep trusting in God, to keep depending on God, to keep putting God first on a daily basis because we can become first a lot. So with that being said, this is day third. This is day 14 for me, actually. I started, no, this is day 13. <laughs> day 13. I'm out of here, guys. Be safe.